Alright, hey, it's Rob, and uh, I recently put in the new Electrosonics DSR4 4-channel receiver in my record bag. I'm excited about that. It seems to be working great. So uh, I'm going to compare uh, performance on the whips that it comes with, with my Betso bow ties, which I bought a couple of years ago and just haven't done much with. So I'm going to rig them up in the bag and see how we do. All right, so here's our setup for today. I've got my 833 here. We'll be monitoring with that. And we will be listening to the new Electrosonics DSR4 four-channel digital receiver. I just rigged this up in the bag uh, last week. Just got it. Very excited about it. We're just going to be looking at channel one here. Let's see if it'll focus a little better. Uh, we're in block 21. Don't forget they give you a couple different antenna lengths. So use the one that corresponds with the block you are using if you can. The black one here is pretty much block 21 length. On the left there you see a big green block. That is showing you your signal strength. You want it to say green the whole time, but you'll see little peaks and valleys and things like that. I'm in the NA hybrid uh, compatibility mode. Because I am using an old LT transmitter, that's just what I got and what I use. Uh, also, don't forget that Electrosonics transmitters, um, if the FCC ID has, let's see, where is it? Is it covered up? Back here, sorry. If the FCC ID has the letter A at the end of it, you see TB1. If it's a TB1A, that would mean you want to be in the new hybrid compatibility mode. This is an older one, which means I stay in NA hybrid compatibility mode. Uh, if you don't get that right, your signal will either be low or distorted. It won't be matched up properly. So make sure you look at transmitters you are using. Anything I think since 2018 is in the NU hybrid uh, compatibility uh, setup, but Clearly, this one was made a little bit before that. And we're going to be listening to Pomp and Circumstance today because it was graduation day at my wife's preschool. So I'm simply going to run this. And uh, it'll come on in a sec. We'll hear the, there we go, lovely sounds of Pomp and Circumstance. I'm going to load up the bag, start walking backwards, and put the whips up, of course. You want to have them straight up. And we're going to see with this rig how far I can get. Here we go. Right at the end of my driveway, which I think is about 70 feet, still getting a very uh, solid, a very strong signal. Seeing a couple little peaks and valleys there on the indicator. Um, I'll show you what it looks like now, but still solid. I'm not hearing any hits or anything like that, so we'll keep walking. All right, so you see the indicator there. You see some little black spaces on top, but still a solid signal. Keep on walking. All right, so this is a ridiculously far length. I would never need to do this and uh you can st see still pretty solid performance a little bit of black on top there of course the more black on top uh the farther away we are and the weaker the signal but uh i'll see if i can measure this somehow i'm not sure how i would do it but i have to guess it's a couple hundred feet at least all right i've just never had range at all <laughs> like this out of this bag <laughs> It's a very surprising. Uh, I must be three, four hundred feet now. Here comes one of my neighbors. They must wonder about me. Anyway, 
I'm not getting any hits yet. I'm a good half a block away. Well, they've done it. They've called the cops on me. Still getting solid performance out of the DSR-4. It's crazy. I'm going to keep walking and see if I eventually start to lose it. Maybe, uh, you know, we'll lose it uh, on the other side of the freeway. That's about a mile and a half down. All right, just jumping in here as we finish the last segment of this test. Um, it was still line of sight, but uh, I was pretty far down there. I was, uh, I don't know how many houses down, five, six houses down. At this point, uh, I'll try to zoom in in a minute here on the camera, and you can see how far that garage is. Um, it's actually not line of sight at the present time, but I'm going to get on the other side of the street. The street curves a little bit. There we go. Now it's kind of line of sight. If I zoom in, you can kind of see the house, and there's my, uh, my car back there. But uh, basically, we got something like 485 feet just on the whips alone. Crazy. 